Hi guys, Barb here with barbstamps.com and I've got another Barb Stamps video for you today. Our focus today is going to be on the Eastern Palace Premier Bundle and I've got 30 cards uh, to show you that are made with these supplies plus some other supplies and they're all amazing and I can't wait to show them to you. Uh, first off, I did want to tell you a little bit about what's in the bundle. The Premier Bundle includes sticker sheets, the Eastern Gold Vinyl stickers, and you get two sheets of each of these patterns. You also get the three new in color ink pads Fresh Fig, Lemon Lime Twist, Tranquil Tide. You get the Eastern Medallions Thinlets die, and I do have a video showing you a ton of things that these dies will do, and I'll link that up here for you in the corner of the video. Uh, you also get the Eastern Beauty stamp set. There are some really cool things you can do with the images in this stamp set as well, and I'm going to show you that on some of these cards. You get the assorted cardstock pack that uh, goes with this suite. It includes Fresh Fig, Dapper Denim, and Tranquil Tide cardstocks. You get a package of the Very Vanilla Thick cardstock for free in your bundle. You get the Eastern Palace Specialty Designer Series paper uh, package. Uh, the specialty part is because a few of these, a couple of these patterns have gold accents on them. And then the other uh, 10 sheets, you get two of each, and they're double sided. And then you also get the mini tassels. You get, uh, let's see, you get two, four, six, eight, ten. You get 12 tassels, four of each color. If you purchase the Eastern Palace Premier Bundle from me, I will gift you with a tutorial to create 25 projects. All the projects use just the supplies that are in the bundle. So you don't need to have a lot of extra supplies. You will need adhesive, scissors, big shot machine, of course, and possibly, you know, some circle punches or these circle framelits. And that's all you're going to need extra. So um, for everyone who purchases that from me in May, I will gift you with that tutorial. Let's just dive right in and start showing you some fabulous cards. Uh, the first one I've got for you here uses um, the large medallion die, one of the smaller circle dies for the central, center, excuse me. And then it's got a bunch of the stamps used. You can see that on the inside of this, we've got this little square, we've got this little flower sprig here. I'm not sure what this little kind of border thing is, but it fits right in there. This little flourishy guy. Um, a little bit of gold ribbon to separate the uh, image from the designer series paper. And then I've got a little greeting, the uh, happy birthday uh, from the Teeny Tiny Wishes stamp set. Next, I've got this card for you. This uses a panel of very vanilla and a lot of the dies were just ran through together. So you've got a couple of these circles here, these two circles of the large medallion. We've got this kind of squarish medallion that you can fold up any way you want. Our enjoy today greeting and a little bit of gold glimmer paper. Very nice card. Moving on to this card, um, it's got some Wink of Stella all over this. Can you see how sparkly that is? It's so, so pretty. We've also got one of these circle dies cropped out of gold foil sheets. We've got a small pearl there. We've got some of that natural gold ribbon right there. A bit of the designer series paper. And then a simple greeting in the tranquil tide up in the corner. This one uses the Dapper Denim and Lemon Lime Twist ink colors. And I just love these colors together. They are so gorgeous. And look at how these dyes, the 3D effect of these things. It is just so cool. A couple of patterns of the designer series paper. Got a large circle here. I believe this was cropped with one of our circle framelits. Actually, let's measure it and make sure, see if it is. No, it's a two and a half inch circle punch. So the two and a half inch circle punch will crop this uh, circle image in the stamps. And then we've got this stamp here, this kind of squarish stamp uh, stamped on this, and it's die cut, and then it cuts these pieces out. Little greeting in the middle. And we've got this gorgeous card with lots of gold accents. We've got some gold glimmer paper here where the die is just snipped out after it was run through. We've got our Enjoy Today greeting. It also has this little polka dot stamp right in the center. And then you can see that we have the uh, circle stitched circle framelit that cuts that out. And that's just the perfect fit around that greeting and that dotted circle stamp. And then we've got some designer series paper. We've got the sparkle textures embossing folder in the back. And... Um, I just love this. Moving along to this card, we've got the gorgeous gold foil sheet in the back behind this cutout medallion, so it just really, really shines. The greeting in the center uses one of our circle framelits, and we've got this panel here stamped with a few of the smaller images in the stamp set. We've got this little flourishy guy here, flourish in this little swirl, and we've got some of the sticker right there at the bottom. 
moving on to this card, this has uh, some fabulous use of the designer series paper and it's one of these kind of flip open cards, very cool. So you can see we've got that uh, flowery stamped image and then you'll see in the, ins in the middle of that flower is this kind of splattery triangular shaped image, which that is very cool. Close that up, we've got a couple of the dies on the outside here, that circle, dotted circle stamp right here just fits perfectly around that uh, die cut image and this is just one of those kind of fancy fold card. Bring in this card here and this one uses, this adds a little tiny bit of sweet sugar plum along with the fresh fig. I think they look great together. We've got our greeting here and then on the sides of the greeting we've got these uh, three little circle uh, dots on the edges there in black. That's really nice. We've got the gold sticker there, some sticker there, and some of the fancy foil designer series paper down there at the bottom. Bring in this card, and this one also has a gorgeous foil accent uh, from the big medallion right in the center. Some of that skinny gold ribbon going across. Again, the sparkle textured embossing folder, and then our greeting, and then the other little kind of squarish type die behind the greeting there. Nice. And then just a blank inside. We've got this card here that uses some of our layering circles framelits. We've got the scallop there, circle there, circle there. Uh, of course, the flower die. It was stamped flower was stamped on there and then you run it through the big shot and it actually cuts so that the petals flip up and then she stamped in each petal this little guy right here so I just love that idea this circle was uh, die cut and then cropped with a circle punch or no it was one of the circle framelits excuse me and then these tiny little things here this little stamp right here also has a coordinating die so you can make those little accents and I love the use of the four patterns of designer series paper Bring in this card, and I love the use of the lemon lime twist on this card. We've got the card stock, and then we've got some designer series paper. Um, this big medallion here. We've got our uh, one of our fancy little circle dies or circle stamps, excuse me, stamped right in the center, and then our greeting. And then we've got this little half die poking out on the side here, and then we've got some burlap underneath it all. And the lemon lime twist card stock will be available June 1st. Uh, this one here uses one of our tassels. Yay, a tassel! And I just uh, tied that on with a little tiny piece of uh, gold thread, and I'll show you where I got that gold thread. I used some of our natural trim ribbon, and when you cut this ribbon, uh, it'll fray at the bottom like ribbon does. And if you just kind of pull the string, there we go. If you just pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it, keep pulling it, see what happens is you get the center. You can actually just pull these out. You can get so much and you can make it as long as you want. And then I just use those to tie my tassel on. So I've got the tassel tied on with that. I've got the uh, one of the circle medallions cropped out and then I have it uh, put on top of a piece of very vanilla cardstock. We've got this gorgeous uh, vanilla foil sheet there, a little tiny uh, metallic enamel accent right there on that little kind of flourishy flower. And I just really like the simplicity of the Tranquil Tide paired with the very vanilla. Move on to this card here, a very simple card, just two of the de designer series paper pieces. Uh, stuck next to each other. This is actually another piece of the designer series paper, the kind of fresh fig striped that the medallion was cut out of. And then we've got the circle here in the center with one of the stamped images, the greeting and that little tiny flower image there. But check this out. On this other card, I used a bit of that eighth inch gold ribbon just to separate the papers. And look what a difference it makes. I just think it really makes everything so much better. It just brings everything together. So just a tiny little a detail like that can just really uh, make your cards look so much better. Moving on to this card here. This one uses a couple different patterns of the designer series paper. We've got one, two, oh, actually three. We've got one behind the Dapper Denim medallion here. Got a little bit of uh, the border sticker down here at the bottom. Got my greeting and my dotted image uh, punched out with, I believe it's the one and a quarter inch circle punch. And then I added another uh, vinyl sticker right here at the top. And then you'll notice these little uh, frayed things here. To get that, I took one of the tassels and I just cut it off from the ring. So I ended up with all these little pieces and I just separated them out, two, and then I just glued them to the back. So that was a different way to use a tassel. This next one uses the circle images in this stamp set, the three of them here, just to kind of make a random pattern of different colored circles. And then I added a strip of the designer series paper uh, with a banner on the end with the banner triple punch, uh, stamped the kind of, what is this, the squarish image. I call it the squarish image. I don't know what else to call it. I stamped that on a piece of Tranquil Tide, die cut that with the two dies, and then just kind of 
lifted these up because they do have a little bit of a score line all the way around. Added my greeting in the middle with a little bit of a swirly goodie there. And uh, the whole thing's mounted on some fresh fig. Ooh, this one uses some of that super yummy striped gold foil dapper denim uh, designer series paper. I love that stuff. It just is so rich and regal looking. It's just so nice. Um, also have a bit of the border sticker there. Three little stickers down here at the bottom. Die cut two of these larger medallions, one from vanilla, one from dapper denim. Added one of the scallop circle stickers in the center and then just stamped a greeting there in the uh, memento black. Uh, bringing in this card. This one makes a cool background just using uh, this kind of flower image here, the little kind of swirly guy, and then this uh, pointed flower in the two different colors, the dapper denim and the lemon lime twist. And then we have some rhinestones in the center of some of those pointed flowers. We've got a beautiful gold foil medallion here, a dapper denim circle medallion, and then the smaller circle with the greeting and the dotted circle image. And then on the inside, just got our greeting here, and then the two flower images. Uh, this next one uses a few of the different dies. We've got three of the little dies up here in the corner with their coordinating stamped images. We've got this uh, squarish die again here uh, with the outer edges popped up this time. I've got a tassel and I just attached that with a glue dot. I didn't uh, have anything to tie it onto so I just used a glue dot. A couple different patterns of the designer series paper and that's it. Pretty simple. Here's a twofer. A uh, couple cards where they're the same card but I just put different designer series paper strips down the center or not down the center but to divide kind of this pattern paper from the uh, plain very vanilla and I, I actually made this one first and then I made this one and I kind of like this one better because I just love the gold foil uh, designer series paper. It just really adds something to the card. So that one's my fave. A little uh, metallic enamel circle there in the center and then the uh, flower die crops out. And I just love how, like I said, the 3D of these dies is just amazing. Amazing. Here's another card where they're very, very similar. Same uh, layout, um, just different colors, different pattern papers, different stickers in the middle. This one here, the uh, sticker, you can die cut with the dies, the nesting dies, and it just makes the sticker uh, 3D. So that is very, very cool. Got the large medallion cut out halfway kind of down the paper, covered up with the other piece of designer series paper. Got some of that natural trim ribbon. A greeting up here where the uh, banner end is just snipped out, a little bit of the sticker, and then I've got this kind of cool border up here at the top, and that is just this little guy right here, just stamped, you know, straight across the top of that card, so I like that. Here's another really cool card. We've got the double flower images here stamped in uh, black and lemon lime twist. And then there is some Wink of Stella. I'm not sure if the camera's going to pick that up. I hope so because it's really, really pretty. Uh, this little medallion stamped in black die cut. And then you'll see how this little kind of splattery triangular image right here is stamped all the way around creating a circle. So that is very cool. Greeting down here in the black. And again, lemon lime twist cardstock will be available for purchase June 1st. Ooh, this one is very, very cool. I love how they've got the medallion on here and then all the different images were kind of stamped in the centers. So you've got the medallion and then you've got this little kind of flourish guy stamped right around and it just fits perfectly in this little point here going down. And then this triple dot image around here, the dotted circle right around the center there. And then this little kind of flourish, partial flourish flower on the outer edges. And this is one of our new uh, glitter metallic accents uh, or enamel accents. I can't think of the name right now, but those will be available June 1st along with this really cool kind of chevron looking ribbon. So get some of that. All right, bringing in this card, gorgeous, gorgeous card using some Bermuda Bay and some pool party along with the vanilla and the large medallion uh, cropped out there with one of the circle medallions underneath and then the flowerish medallion just kind of placed right on top giving that 3d look to the whole card one of those small vinyl stickers in the center there and some of that natural trim ribbon along the bottom gorgeous card uh, this one here uses another one of the tassels yay tassels this is the fresh fig and then we've got the kind of flowered image stamped all over in fresh fig and then also kind of watercolored a little bit and then some wink of stella was uh, scribbled over the top or actually maybe the wink of stella was used to bring the color out because i've done that before where wink of stella can actually make your wink of stella colored so that's really cool i actually have a video on uh, doing that i'll link that up there for you that'll be cool um and then we've got the gold foil sheet here uh, with the greeting on top of it so very cool 
Another card using that gorgeous designer series paper with the dapper denim and gold foil accents on it. Very pretty. Plain basic white. Got some dapper denim circles stamped on there. The flower accent with the small uh, circle in the center and then the gold foil and then the dapper denim card. Really, really striking. We've got this one here that uses some more of the uh, designer series paper. We've got a strip of the vinyl sticker right there dividing those two pieces of designer series paper. We've got the medallion in the fresh fig and then we've got the kind of squarish image there again. Uh, stamped, die cut, and then some lemon lime twist ink was just kind of sponged around the edges. We've got our gold embossing for the greeting in the middle, a little swirl there, and yeah, very, very, very nice card. Here's some cards that use those very vanilla note cards and envelopes, and those will be available for purchase individually June 1st. So we've got this one here that says the little uh, kind of circular greeting at the bottom, life is beautiful. We've got the die cut flower that comes out of that and that little tiny image stamped in it. Some designer series paper for the flower middles. And then the envelope does have that kind of same border image. This little guy right here, whoops, a bit of a glare there. This little guy right here stamped all along the edge. And then this little square die or square stamp, excuse me, was stamped in between. So that's kind of a cool envelope. Moving on to this one where we've got some of the metallic enamel accents, some of that skinny gold ribbon, and then the greeting on that gorgeous flower a little accent right there, some of the designer series paper, and then you can see that this little image was stamped right in the center there with uh, what appears to be possibly perfect plum or fresh fig stamped off once, I'm not quite sure. And then just a few little um, stamped images on the outside of the envelope there, super cute. Here's another uh, one of the note cards and um, envelopes, and this one uses another one of the tassels, very cool, half of a gold sticker. That kind of pointed flower for the background. We've got a few different patterns of the designer series paper here. This actual circle die was cropped from the designer series paper. We've got a pearl accent, uh, the flower medallion image, and then just a double flower medallion image on the envelope. So you're thinking to yourself, where did that come from? It's this stamp right here. It's stamped once, oh, there's a piece of fuzz. Stamped once and then you rotate it and you stamp it again and then this is what you get. So that's gonna be very cool. I can't wait to actually put that on a card. And our last card is this one here, another note card. So we've got the large medallion kind of cropped out of this vanilla. And then the layering circles framelits are used to crop that out completely without, you know, snipping out. Because you could snip these uh, medallions out and then use them while they're out of the circle. Or you can die cut a circle around them and then they'll layer onto this scallop circle uh, behind that. Some more of that gorgeous upper denim gold foil accent paper and then the stickers and then we just have a dotted circle with that kind of fun little uh, flourishy guy right there in the middle so that was all the cards I have there's 30 of them if you purchase the Eastern Palace Premier Bundle from me not only will you get all these fabulous supplies to create cards of your own but I will also gift you with a tutorial to create 26 or 27 I can't remember exactly how many cards using the items in the bundle plus your adhesive, uh, bone folder scissors, paper cutter, and some circle punches. So be on the lookout for that. Order your bundle from me at shoppingwithbarb.com. Use my host code that I'll put right here on the screen. Um, and then I'll email you the file. As always, thumbs up if you like the video. That uh, helps me know that what I'm doing you like. Subscribe in the corner, notification bell down here afterwards to be notified when I upload new videos. And um, as always, have a wonderful day.